Okay, today is turntables. I've been asked to do turntables. Let's show you anyway. My advice to lay a turntable, if you really want to have fun, is first select the track that you want. I'm using generic 2. Choose your speed for the track 25, 25, 25. Uh, make it yard because we are in yards. Take off the overhead wires. You wouldn't normally see those with that. One track and make it so it's on this swirly thing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> you lay this down and as you can see that it wants to go that way. I don't know why it won't go straight. Uh, that's just typical, isn't it? It won't go straight. All right, take off the swirly thing then. What we're trying to do is produce a bit of straightish track. Right, so we do that, okay? And you think, well, that's easy. <laughs> right, now when you get your turntable, we'll select the turntable now from the list, here we go. Let's say you want just a exit, okay? okay. Now, if, if you look, if you try and line up the track with what you're trying to play, not saying that's the easiest way of doing it, but it, it may help to do this. I, I find if you want it right where you want it, this is the easiest way to do it. So you line it up, as you can see, I'm not far out now. And then because I'm not far out, you then split the track, both that side of it and this side of it. Okay, so we've got that. We've taken that piece of track out, look, you see, not there anymore. The reason why I've taken that piece of track out is because you always work away from, from the turntable find your track and stick stick with the track you're used to that you've been using in my case it's generic 2 um, with overhead wires but we won't have that we know what our speed is because we'd already laid that in 25 25 so we'll put that in again quite easy again yards none. and then you put your track in now before you join it to any other piece of track do a little step down and then when it does join, in this case it's not going to anyway, but when it does join you'll find it's much much easier to make a good connection. And you have to line this up perfect <laughs> and as you can see I haven't managed that anyway. But then I can step forward a bit further and it actually lines up. And you see that big red thing there? What we do is we cut away that piece of track there when we finish and it will be gone. And this is now connected to the turntable. So we go to the other end. This is dead easy to lay turntables once you pass this little rule. As I say, you lay your track, look, and you plonk it. You always do that little section first. I don't know why, I found it worked better for me that way. And then you can go forward as much as you like. And you come back, and if you remember where that join was, and you can find that out by your sticky bit. Run this over, it will stick somewhere. Okay? And that's where your part is where it starts. I haven't gone far enough back, but where is it? It's a long way back here. Because I only dropped it down, didn't I? You see it up there. See it? No, it went to sticky there, I think. There. there. So beyond that, if you want to lay a pawn, in case you want to take them into a shed or somewhere, you then put your point in. Laying points is dead easy once you know the tricks. Always stick to the same sort of track that you're using. And you shouldn't have a problem with me. If you look, see that doesn't like that because we're still connected to the original piece of um, turntable. You put a split in here, and it might work, and I don't know. <laughs> well, the last time I did it, it did, so we'll, we'll try it and see if we can join. We just weld this together. There we go, and it's done, you see? Fits in. Again, this end, like I said before, where that mark is and where the other mark is there's a piece of track in there hiding see him there he is that little piece of track is hiding Actually, it doesn't look right at all it looks like it's, you know, that's dropped down so it's that piece of track that's hiding okay see him? you delete that and then you end up with this there's a little step there i don't know why we've got a little step there but anyway we can sort that out now because i think we've got a rise underneath the buffer does look like a rise. It does look like it's jumping up a little bit. Think. We'll get our what's it all and we'll click on it and we'll just take that bend out like so. Alright? Click away from it and it should look alright even now. And then we weld together again. 
I understand people are saying they can have a problem with welding. I don't, don't see if that's a problem. And this is a turntable. Of course, you've got four other rows. Always remember, like I said before, select your track, select your speed, and you can't go wrong. Dead easy. There you go. Finally, with these turntables, if you select a brush and you select drop the ground, set it for about 30, when it comes up, set it for about 30, and hold the mouse in roughly in the middle of the turntable and then lower that section and you'll see it goes down you see and then you can see the whole of the base of that and then if you select uh, paint the brush on the ground and you select a oh, gravel track bed this comes out of the same color as the no it doesn't <laughs> sorry it's, it's, it's not that one is it no typical gravel track grass you can lay that around here but you can't see the joints so much and it just covers that up big as you like <laughs> and there you are there's your turntable I hope you enjoyed it remember to press 8 when you're parked on it and it should turn around for you is it 8? <laughs> I think it is yes I think so anyway there you go